hello friends in this video i will be discussing about the evaluation of mean and variance of the gaussian density function okay the overview of the talk would be like this first we will try to define what is a gaussian density function and then we will try to evaluate its mean and also its variance okay a random variable x is said to be gaussian distributed if its pdf is of the following form so that is small fx of x equal to 1 by root 2 pi sigma times exponential of minus 1 by 2 times x minus mu by sigma whole square so in short and notation we denote this gaussian random variable as x is similar to n of mu comma sigma square where mu and sigma square are the parameters of the gaussian distribution and they are termed as mean and variance so we will try to prove that the mean of this gaussian random variable is mu and variance is sigma square so first let us try to evaluate its mean so for any random variable x we define mean as expectation of x is equal to mu x which is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity x into small fx of x dx here the letter e stands for expectation and mu x is another notation for mean of any random variable okay so for the given gaussian random variable so we define mu mean as mu x equal to 1 by root of 2 pi sigma times integral minus infinity to infinity x times small fx of x is 1 by root 2 pi sigma exponential of minus half times x minus mu by sigma whole square dx okay now if you do the change of variable that is x minus mu by sigma if you replace with tau where x equal to sigma tau plus mu then we can modify this integration as mu x equal to 1 by root 2 pi sigma times integral minus infinity to infinity and here x is replaced with sigma tau plus mu and x minus mu is x minus mu by sigma is replaced with tau and hence we get this equation and dx is replaced with sigma times d tau so because sigma is a scaling factor and it is common for numerator and denominator it gets cancelled out and finally we are left out with the following integral which is 1 by root 2 pi times integral minus infinity to infinity sigma tau plus mu times e power minus tau square by 2 d tau so we will rewrite this again here for clarity purpose now if you expand this integration we get sigma times integral of tau times e power minus tau square by 2 plus mu times integral of e power minus tau square by 2 d tau so clearly tau times e power minus tau square by 2 is not function and hence this area of an odd function is zero similarly we have seen that this integration is nothing but area of standard normal distribution which turns out to be one hence the first term would be equal to zero and second term would be mu times one which is equal to mu and hence we have proved that the mean of the gaussian random variable is mu next we will proceed to evaluate the variance of the gaussian random variable so before we talk about variance of a gaussian random variable first we will try to define the expectation of function of random variable okay what do i mean by that for a random variable x we define the expectation or mean of the function of random variable as integral minus infinity to infinity g of x times f x of x dx where g of x is the function of the function over which random variable is defined okay now for any random variable x we define variance as variance of x equal to expectation of x minus mu x whole square so clearly if you compare these two results this term is looking like expectation of some function of x so where g of x is x minus mu x whole square and hence by substituting this in this equation we get expectation of x minus mu x whole square would be equal to integral minus infinity to infinity now g of x will get replaced with x minus mu x whole square times fx of x dx for a gaussian random variable so expectation of x minus mu x x mu x whole square would be equal to we have to replace small fx of x with the 
corresponding distribution and hence we get 1 by root 2 pi sigma times integral minus infinity to infinity x minus mu x whole square times exponential of minus half times x minus mu x by sigma whole square dx okay right so we already know that area of a gaussian pdf is 1 and hence we can write that integral minus infinity to infinity exponential of this term dx would be equal to root 2 pi sigma now if we differentiate the above equation with respect to sigma so what do we get so first we'll get integral minus infinity to infinity the first term will be retained like this because exponential function will have itself as the derivative and next we have to differentiate the function which is inside the flower brackets so how that would be equal to minus half times x minus mu x x minus mu whole square is a constant as far as sigma is concerned and hence we get x minus mu whole square as it is so 1 by sigma square will have minus 2 by sigma cube as a derivative and hence we get this term multiplied with dx so on the right hand side if you differentiate with respect to sigma you get root 2 pi so this 2 a minus 2 and minus half will get cancelled out and finally we are left with this integration that is integral minus infinity to infinity first term multiplied with the second term which is x minus mu whole square by sigma cube dx okay now we will just rewrite the above integral in this fashion so what we have done we have brought the second term to be the first term so if you rearrange this in a proper way so what do i mean by that this sigma cube we will can be written as sigma times sigma square and this root 2 pi if you send to the left hand side it will become 1 by root 2 pi and sigma cube you wrote it as sigma into sigma square one sigma let us attach to this root 2 pi and an left out term which is sigma square we will send to the right hand side and hence this flow will become sigma square so finally you get 1 by root 2 pi sigma times integral minus infinity to infinity x minus mu whole square into exponential exponential term dx is equal to sigma square but just now we have seen that this left hand side integral is nothing but expectation of x minus mu x whole square which we call it as variance and this turned out to be sigma square so hence we have proved that variance of gaussian random variable is sigma square so as a summary if x is a gaussian random variable with parameters mu and sigma square then its mean is given by mu and its variance is given by sigma square okay so that concludes the proof of the evaluation of mean and variance of the gaussian random variable hope you got that thanks for your time